Hey everyone, my name is John Dang, and this is my instructional video for the EdTech Teachers Cohort. Hey! The two pieces of tech we're going to be looking at today are Ebsen's document camera and LCD projector. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you'd be able to set up both pieces of tech and also be able to use it effectively in the classroom. Enjoy! Okay, so before I even show you how to set up the tech, I'm going to tell you a little about them first. This is Epson's document camera. So what this is is basically the overhead for the new generation. It has a built-in high-resolution camera that displays documents easily and also to any 3D objects you put under it. And this is Epson's LCD projector. What it does is it's going to work hand in hand with your document camera to display anything you have under it onto a flat and even surface. Okay, now the juicy stuff, setting up the document camera. You're going to notice a lot of ports around the base of this camera. And what I'm going to do is do a little quick explanation of them. This is the power port, so you can put in your DC adapter right in there to get some juice into this thing. The one next to it is the VGA in. This is for your cable. If you can get a VGA cable, always recommended. Connect it right in there. And this, the other end, is going to connect straight into your laptop on the corresponding port as well. All right. The one after that is the VGA out. This, I'm gonna get back to you in a second. And on the side we're going to have the power button, an S video port, and an SD card slot to actually save pictures you've taken with the document camera. But for now all you really need to remember is the power button. Pause. All right. For the LCD projector, it's actually a lot more simpler than it looks to set up. I know there's a lot of plugs and ports back here. Don't be scared. You really only need two. One for the power and another one for your computer out. So first off, plug in the power right at the bottom and this is going to give your projector some juice. And then after that, just stick, find yourself the same VGA cable you used earlier, but another one like it, and stick it into computer slot one. Connect the other end back over to that VGA out port I mentioned earlier. If everything goes as planned, you're going to have connection that looks something similar like this. One to one, two to two. Now that you have all the tech connected, you can actually switch between what is displayed on your laptop screen and what's being displayed underneath your document camera like this cowboy hat. To do that just press the source button located here. Pressing it once is going to show what's on your disc document camera and pressing it again is going to switch to your laptop screen. Alright so that wasn't too bad. One thing I wanted to tell you guys as well is that you don't actually need the laptop connected to this trio. What you can actually still have is your LCD projector and your document camera connected. And how you do that would be the exact same way you had earlier, with the VGA out connected to computer slot in the back. With that, you can still have fun with your document camera and your projector, like this. Bye guys.